I have three different boxy charms that I need to open. Two of them might be from the same month because I did have two profiles at one point. And then one of them is just gonna be on an island by itself. This is the last unboxing before the final unboxing, okay? The last thing I'm gonna unbox is my FabFitFun from the summer, okay? Even though it's like fall, autumn now. Don't judge me, look, I was overwhelmed. <laughs> it was just too much. We're gonna go ahead and start with this one, okay? It's the smaller of the boxes, June, okay? We got a June box. The first thing that I'm pulling out is a mascara, and this is by Glam Lash, and it is a volume, oh, Laura Geller. No, it's not by Glam Lash, it's by Laura Geller. They just have too many names on these products, okay? Tell me who you are and what this is. And this is a volumizing mascara, and it's in the color black. It's just a regular schmegular mascara. Very pretty, Laura Geller. Uh, I think I have an eyeshadow palette from them, but that's about it. And it's one of these little brushy brushes. Smells like typical mascara. We will give this a try out and see if it actually volumizes, okay? Cause after that floss mascara, I don't believe nobody. I'ma need to try you out to see if you actually gonna do something to the lashes. The big one is a glow recipe. Okay, I like glow recipe. They got some good stuff. This is a avocado ceramide moisture barrier cleanser. And this is what it looks like. Hopefully it's, well, does avocado really have a smell? I don't know. <laughs> I've never really taken the time to smell an avocado. Ooh, but the inside is so cool. It has like avocados all through the inside and then some words that, I mean, you'd have to break the box down to, to read, which is kind of annoying. But this is what it looks like. Very aesthetically a pleasing. Why do I keep wanting to say a pleasing? Very aesthetically pleasing. Okay, it goes really well with the Fenty stuff. Uh, they have a similar kind of vibe with their packaging, at least with this. We have a safety seal, y'all. Love to see her. She's the home girl. Um, from what I can tell, it doesn't really have much of a scent to it. I'll know better once I actually put it on my face, but I have to go through the ingredients and make sure it's, you know, big front belly safe. This is from Mia, Miel or Miel. I don't know what this is, but it's just a box that says Miel. And then a bunch of little itty bitty writings of, why doesn't it say what this is? That's so annoying. Like, can you tell me what you are? It's like when people come to your house and they uninvited and unexpected, like, who are you? Hopefully this ain't no damn eye cream. If it's an eye cream, it's going in the giveaway and I will not open it. Well, outside of the little plastic, cause I gotta rip it off to see what this is. Honey infused hydration mask. Okay, protects and restores skin's moisture barrier. And this is what it looks like. Again, very aesthetically pleasing, thinky thick which it smells, I don't know. It, it, I don't know what kind of smell that is. It, it, it smells like a typical mask, <laughs> a typical thick face mask, mud mask. I'll read the ingredients, see if I can use her and we'll try her out on another uh, nighttime skincare routine that you really shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do anyways. Maybe not, cause I am pregnant. So we'll see videos. <laughs> the next thing that I'm pulling out is by Just Meets Mina, Just Mina, Just Zina. Zemina? I don't know how to say that. There's too many letters that don't make sense to me. This is what it looks like, and it is a three-in-one stick. In the color, I'm delicious. Ooh, okay. I hope this got a smell to it. Talking about some delicious. This is what the outside packaging is looking like. All right, so it's just a little sticky stick. They probably have it where it's like, oh, you can put it on your lips, you can put it on your eyes, you can put it on your cheeks. This is how much product you get, which is decent. Bruh, how you gonna tell me three and one, but then not tell me what the three are? It just says three and one, but it doesn't tell you what three are the one. The packaging needs to at least tell me what it does, where I can put it. I don't wanna put it somewhere and I'm not supposed to put it. I'm guessing cheeks, lips, maybe eyes. But then again, usually when you have red colors like this, you're not supposed to put them on your eyes because of certain ingredients. We'll try her on the cheeks, probably not the lips. I hate products that are like cheek and lip because usually they're only really good on one. And most of the time, they're only really good on the cheeks. They're terrible on the lips, especially that little milk makeup one. They got me once, they won't ever get me again. It's just, it's so bad. It made my lips feel ugh. The final thing in my little box is <laughs> by Trust Fun Beauty and it is called Lipgasm Lipstick in the color Birthday Suit. But there is no little swatch to see what it looks like on the outside, so we gotta open her up. This is what the box is working with. This is a little 
rectangular prism. Okay, look, I've seen this before. I hate when the lip product is already poking out because when you pull it out of the thing, you're gonna f it up. Like, look at that. I already destroyed it. This is a pretty color though. I will say that this is a pretty color, but it's just like a nice little nudie shade. Very pretty. I need to exfoliate. Okay, I've been trying. I've been trying between, you know, running after baby girl and then being tired because I'm pregnant. Getting time to self-care is just, it's a hassle. It's a hassle because even when I try to self-care, I'm stressed because I'm like, what is baby girl doing? She's too quiet. She's a toddler. She's definitely into something. <laughs> so I can't really self-care as much as I would like to, but I am trying my best to lip scrub as much as possible to get rid of these crusty dusties so that lipsticks and lip glosses and all the lip products look good on my lips and not just disgusting and gross. That was everything in the first box. Pretty nice. There were no eye creams. Okay, no eye creams in sight, which is another positive. Hopefully the other boxes can keep that momentum going. The next box is again from June. Okay, so we found our double up. Y'all could have put this in the same size box. Like the stuff wasn't that much bigger. Like you could have put it in a smaller box. Look at all the space. They could put that in the smaller box. All right, reaching in. Ooh, okay, we got a little lip combo from Pink Lips. Okay, I love their contour sticks. So hopefully this is a good product as well. And this is the Glass Lip Gloss Aglo and Star. And this is what it looks like. Very purty. I love a good lip gloss. It's just always nice to have a lip gloss in your purse. And these are the two shades. Very beautiful. Um, they're called Store. Oh, I already read those. Star and Aglo. But yeah, very cute. I love their packaging. Ooh, that smells like cake. <laughs> this smells like delicious, delicious cake. This is the very sheer, 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 sheer color. And this is one star. See the little shimmers and glitters? It's actually very beautiful. And now let's try aglo. I don't know what an aglo is. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Let's see if it smells. Smells so good. They both smell relatively the same. And I mean, they swatch pretty much the same too. There's not too much differences between the two shades. I mean, it's just a lip gloss. I expect that when it comes to lip glosses that they're just not gonna really show much pigment, but those are really pretty. And they smell absolutely divine, like straight up cake, delicious cake. Not that dried out you get from the grocery store. Actually delicious made for you cake. The next thing that I pulled out is from Grown Alchemist, and this is a polishing facial exfoliant. I love their packaging because it's just like, it's like the metal, kind of like the like, it's, I don't know if this is metal, maybe it is, but it's like a kind of metalish kind of tube, and then it's always upside down. <laughs> Um, this is just like a polishing thing. No safety seal, cause it's right there, okay? The product is right there. Oh, shoot. I squeezed it ever so lightly and all that popped out. All right, it smells like typical skincare, okay? It smells like typical skincare. But as I'm rubbing this in, I can tell that the little exfoliants are very small, okay? They are very small. So this isn't gonna be super, super abrasive, which is nice. You know, you don't need to rip off five, 10 layers of skin every time you exfoliate. You just need to get that layer off. The layer that has the grit, the grit. The layer that has the grit and the dirt, you need to get that layer off. And this will, this will get that done without removing the rest of your flesh. First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer with Sunscreen. And this is what the box is looking like. Um, First Aid Beauty stuff is pretty nice. I like their products. They're usually pretty good on my skin. No real issues. And this is what it looks like. I guess that kind of counts as a safety seal because if you're pumping it forever and ever and ever and nothing comes out, more than likely ain't nobody been in it. So I guess that kind of counts as a as a safety seal. Doesn't smell like anything. Like I literally am smelling nothing. Um, I'm just rubbing this in to see if it's gonna leave like a cast. Um, Maybe I'm just pale, but I don't see a cast. My skin is slightly sticky, but that's kind of expected whenever you have a SPF. It's gonna be a little sticky. So, I mean, this is nice. This is nice. Is this only for your face? It doesn't say. So maybe you can use this all over, not just your face. Oh wait, I act like I didn't read the whole title of this. It literally says ultra repair face moisturizer. Okay, so for your face. The next thing that I'm pulling out is by Estina. Estina? And this is a moisturizing lip 
paint in the color latte. Now, I hope that this isn't the color latte. Uh, usually when they put the sticker on there, it's supposed to be the color of the lippy. Now, maybe this is a silver lippy. I don't know. Uh, if it is a silver lippy, I, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know if I'm putting silver on my lips. Oh, okay, it's not silver. It's more of like a little nudie shade. So this is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty nice packaging, nothing too crazy. Very, very pretty. Ooh, smells sweet, but not as sweet as the pink lips, okay? It has a slight sweetness to it, but not as sweet. It's not full-blown cake. It's maybe a sugar cookie. The last thing in my box is an Il Maquillage Color Boss Squad Multidimensional Eye Color Quad. So I'm guessing this is an eyeshadow palette. It's got a lot of hate, hate. It's got a lot of weight to it. This thing heavy for being so little. I don't own anything, well, now I do. I've seen Il Maquillage on like different ads and stuff, but I've never actually used their products. So you get a little mirror and then these are the shades. Very simple. Okay, these are some simple, simple shades. You could probably take this with you on a trip and then you'll have everyday makeup for that trip. So I'm gonna do a few little swatches and then I'll be right back. The two down here, very beautiful, very pigmented. Other two, you can barely see. They're just kind of ashy and not really doing it for me. The bottom two, great. The top two, meh. I guess I would just have to see how they perform on the eyes. They just, they just, half the palette is good, the other half is kind of garbage. I will say this, a++ for packaging. This packaging is, is very nice. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the final box and then we'll be almost done. We'll be at the finish line because the last thing, like I said, is that Fat Fit Fun box. Again, this box could have been way smaller. It, 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 they didn't need to give me this big old box for this little bit of product. This is from May. So I'm guessing this is from the same time that I had my Icon box. Hopefully no eye creams, all right? Why do I need all this box for this little bit of product? If the box gonna be this big, I need it to be stuffed. The first thing is from Wanda Beauty, and this is the Upgraded Lashes Thickening Mascara. And this is what it looks like. It's taped on both ends. I'm not gonna open this. I have too many mascaras, all right? I'm already mascaraed up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the giveaway so that somebody else can enjoy this Wander Beauty Mascara. Uh, hopefully this is a nice mascara because it will be going to a lucky viewer of mine sometime soon. I need to do the giveaway sometime soon. Probably in November for Thanksgiving. Probably around that time that I'll be giving thanks by doing a giveaway. The next thing that I'm pulling out is by Skin Ink, my daily dose of armor. The hell is this? What is this? Is this like a moisturizer? I don't know, but this is what it looks like. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty. It's very pretty and it has little balls in it. What are you? I mean, I guess this is just like a, like an oil? It's like an oil for your face, like a face oil? <laughs> That's fun. No, it doesn't have a smell at all. Like I don't smell anything. The next thing that I'm pulling out is by Beauty For Real. And this is a Lip Revival uh, Serum Lipstick in the color Neutral Light. And this is what she looks like. Very, very nice. I see you, that's pretty. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. Well, let's see how much product we get. You get this much product. Um, but I will say this color does look a little darker than the, the thing on the picture, but maybe once you swatch it, it'll come out to about that color. I already like the texture of this and that's the color. Is that the same as what's on the box? Mm, no, <laughs> this is much darker than this, but still a very pretty color. Okay, and the texture looks to be really nice, very hydrating. I mean, it's a serum lipstick, so it better be hydrating. The next thing is by Kate Somerville, and this is the Skin Health Experts Acne Stuff acne treatment. And this is what it looks like. I think I've heard of this before. Okay, yeah, I've definitely heard this before. You're not supposed to shake it up, but it's all shook it. It's all shook it. Maybe it'll separate. Uh, but I think you're supposed to take like a Q-tip and then shove it in and then shove it right out. You're not supposed to shake it. Yeah, it says do not shake. And then you just put it on the spots that you have. I currently do not have any acne issues. So I don't think I will be needing anything like this. And it is nice and safety sealed. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna pop this in the giveaway as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the giveaway so that somebody else, if you have any skin issues, this will help clear it up. Uh, definitely check and make sure it's not gonna like irritate your skin further, do a patch test. But I will go ahead and put this in the giveaway. It's nice and safety sealed so you know I ain't been in it. And the final thing in here is by Dr. Brandt and it is a Luminizer Primer. 
Just a little primer, very pretty. Uh, let's see, if it's safety sealed, it's going in the giveaway because <laughs> I don't need no more primers and it's not. I'm sorry, y'all, I tried, okay, I tried. Let's see, put a little tiniest of dupes. Ooh, okay. It smells good. It smells good. It has like a clean but sweet skincare scent to it. And it went into the skin pretty nicely. I typically prefer gripping or jelly kind of primers, but I, I still rock with these. These are still pretty nice. But yeah, y'all, that was everything. Um, I'm content. <laughs> I'm content. I just wish that the Il Maquillage eyeshadow palette swatched better. Maybe it'll perform better on the eyes. We'll see. Um, but this was a really good blend of skincare and makeup, okay? No eye cream. <laughs> no eye creams, yes, okay? Cause I'm sick of them telling me I got big old bags under my eyes. Like I already know you don't gotta reinforce it. I will be planning the giveaway sometime in November. So look out for that. And just because you a dude in my comment section don't mean you can't apply for the giveaway. You give away to somebody in your family or, or you know, a lady in your life. They might enjoy these things. I might just take care of your Christmas gift. You just put a Christmas bow on it and say it's from you. The next is the fast and fun and then we'll be done. All right, and all we'll have coming in are the Ipsy Glam bags until I sign up for something else. All right, baby girl calling for, for her mother, okay? She calling for me, so I gotta go. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a baby. And I will see y'all with the next one.